Hello Internet, this is Olin from what I'm listening to, here once again with another episode of Quickies. So the first thing I have for you today is uh, a bit of a wild card. Uh, I have this album, which I actually don't really know the title of, um, doesn't really do a good job, AEP slash MHLMTH, can't tell if that's the artist or the title, but um, I, uh, I grabbed this from the... Uh, Dark Arts Clearance section, which I've talked about in these videos before. Um, I have a small fascination with that section because there's a lot of uh, mysterious stuff in there, and uh, there was just something about this cover that uh, intrigued me. Um, it was uh, dark, I guess you could say, which is aptly named because it's in the Dark Arts section, but um, yeah, I, uh, I grabbed it not knowing what it was wanting to know what it was and uh, I'm interested to see what it could possibly sound like. I can't seem to get this out which so what else is new? Um, this seems like it is a CDR. I'm looking at this booklet. It looks like it's a split so it looks like this is one track and these are other tracks here so AEP which I'm assuming is what this is, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. That must be one band, this is another band, nothing inside there. Um, yeah, so this should be an interesting listen. Um, I will assume it's either neo-folk or industrial or dark ambient or something like that, but uh, yeah, should be an interesting listen. Next up, I have yet another thing I don't know. Uh, I grabbed this album because of its cover. Um, I like something like this. Um, this <laughs> I don't even know what you want to call this design. You can see it in the sheen there, but uh, just this kind of abstract, freaky looking cover. Um, the band is called Creepoid which uh, kind of interests me too. Um, yeah, I found this in the uh, miscellaneous C section of, oh, that came out wrong. <laughs> miscellaneous C in rock, um, things that don't, uh, don't really have a bin card in our bins at Amoeba will get filed there. And uh, I guess this is just one of those albums that it's just so indie and unknown that it got filed at the end there. But uh, I'm fascinated by it. This, uh, this art right here, I think, looks really cool. Let's see if there's anything under the disc here. It looks like it's just an extension of that band playing in their rehearsal space. Uh, once again, I have no idea what this sounds like. If I had to guess, I'm going to say it's probably post-punk. Maybe shoegaze? Maybe, just based on the, the artwork here. But um, my instincts are saying post-punk. But I'm looking forward to listening to it. So far, I love the packaging. I love the name of the band. Um, yeah, I think it'll be a really fun discovery here. Next up, I have Brian McBride's The Effective Disconnect. So Brian McBride is one of the two members of one of my all-time favorite drone ambient groups, Stars of the Lid, which you can see right there. Um, Stars of the Lid, we've been getting a ton of their stuff at Amoeba, and uh, this was amongst the bunch that uh, we got in. So the moment I saw it, I snatched it. Um, I would have bought it right then and there, but I decided to loan it out to give it a listen first and foremost. Um, I have Brian's first solo album and I adore it. Um, this is a soundtrack for a, uh, I believe it's a documentary, uh, let's see, documentary for Vanishing of the Bees, um, which it doesn't surprise me because um, the other member of Stars of the Lid, Adam Wiltsey, is in a group called the Winged Victory for the Sullen, which has also done soundtrack work for 
various films and documentaries. So it comes to no surprise that Brian has also done some uh, score for that. But um, anyways, if this sounds like the first album and or sounds like Stars of the Lids material, I will most likely buy this. And it's on Cranky, which is uh, one of my all-time favorite labels. Might be my all-time favorite label in general. But uh, yeah, I uh, surprisingly do not own this one. And uh, I'm really, really looking forward to listening to this. Again, absolutely love Stars of the Lid. Absolutely love Brian's other solo album. So um, yeah, I'm excited to listen to this one. Screw it, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> and the final CD I have today, this is Linda Perhaps I'm a Harmony. Um, so Linda is a recent discovery of mine. Um, one of my coworkers, Ryan, played one of her songs in store and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It sounded a lot like uh, the works of Vashti Bunyan, just really beautiful, mellow uh, folk music, maybe freak folky a bit. Um, I bought her first album and uh, have enjoyed that. So uh, I went back to the folk section to see what else there was and I found this album. Uh, this one is kind of fascinating because it's not just her, but she collaborates with a ton of other people. So just based off of this, we can see she collaborates with uh, Nels Klein, who is a fantastic guitarist, is also the lead guitarist in Wilco, uh, Devenja Banhart, Julia Holter, who's an amazing experimental pop musician, uh, Pat Sanson, who I think is also in Wilco, um, The Autumn Defense, who uh, is a, a duo between Wilco's bassist and her sister. Funny how uh, Wilco seems to be uh, coming up on here. and. Uh, a bunch of other people. So um, yeah, again, I, uh, I could have just purchased this right then and there, but I decided to loan it out first to give it a listen. I might actually end up buying this. We'll see. Yeah, just looking at the liner notes, we have uh, Pat Sanson, uh, let's see, Nels Klein, Glenn Coche, and John Strait, who are literally most of Wilco, which is nuts to me. I mean, the only person missing at this point is Jeff Tweedy, which even if the fact that he is not on here, if, if he did collaborate on here, I wouldn't be surprised. But um, I'm really excited to listen to this one. This one should be an interesting listen. I, I imagine it'll be more of the same of the, the stuff I heard from the first album, just maybe a little more modern, but uh, we will have to see. Alrighty then, that concludes this edition of Quickies. Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, check back next Friday for another edition.